have an extremely important Google Ads update, and that is that Google has made some huge changes to the way that YouTube ads are now served. And in this video, I'm gonna run through exactly what they are and what you need to do to take advantage of these and make sure that you're ready and that your ads are set up the right way to take advantage of all of these changes and make sure that you're not losing money because you don't have these key things in place. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now I'm Justin Sardi, I'm here with TubeSift.com and um, like I said, we're gonna be talking all about video action campaigns. So first things first, what's happening? Well, YouTube is, sorry, Google Ads is upgrading all of the YouTube campaigns from TrueView for Action to video action campaigns. And essentially what that means is instead of being able to choose in-stream ads, video discovery ads, things like that, they're all being lumped into one type of ad and it's gonna be called video action campaigns. Now, as you can see on this page right here, um, they're saying, hey, it loves to reach more people on and off YouTube. Essentially, they're being able to show these ads with new calls to action on the Google Display Network and all that kind of stuff. Now, um, they're saying anything that uses sales leads, website traffic, it's going to be a video action campaign. And starting early 2022, all of these campaigns that you have existing are going to be upgraded. Now, when you currently set up a campaign, you actually don't have a choice if you choose any of these. You don't even have a choice to choose the old campaign. So um, all of your new campaigns going forward are going to need to be set up like this. So let's talk about exactly what they are, right? So in here, you can see here's a few different things. Um, I'll, I'll actually just show you on Google Ads what they look like, but you can kind of see they're going to show, you know, in the YouTube home feed. So that's going to be like a video discovery ad, essentially, a YouTube watch page. It's going to be, you know, this, this is like an in stream ad right here. This is a mobile ad, actually. Um, and you see all these calls to action here, uh, what it's going to look like on desktop as an in-stream ad and on a TV. You can still exclude TVs, though, which is good because TVs are terrible to advertise on. Uh, it'll be the watch next, which will be like those suggested videos. That was a video discovery ad in the past. YouTube search results. That was a video discovery ad in the past as well. Um, and it's pretty cool, though. They're actually adding these nice calls to action here, and I'll show you those in a second. And then Google Video Partners. Now, this is like uh, the Google Display Network. Previously, these were terrible. Right now, they're actually not too bad because they're adding these calls to action. As you can see, we've got nice buttons, things like that, telling your viewers exactly where to click. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a new campaign. And uh, we're gonna go sales right here. And what I like to do is I like to remove all of these things right here because this is going to essentially put all of our conversions in here. I don't want to do that. Um, a lot of my times when I'm personally running these campaigns, I want to make sure that I'm optimizing for a very specific conversion action. Um, you do have to have one in here so you can click add goal and you can see all of these goals in here. So like purchases, if I click that, it's gonna add all of my purchases, right? I don't usually wanna do that because I have multiple products. I don't wanna optimize for all of these. So you can see I've got these custom goals right here. And so I might say, you know, maybe I'm just going for a, a TubeSift sale right here. So I would put TubeSift sale and I would remove the submit leads. Boom, we're good. So now this campaign is going to um, kind of optimize for that, right? So we'll just choose that and you can, you know, you can't remove the only the one goal, but you can add multiple ones. Uh, this kind of took over the conversion action sets and things like that. And then we'll go to video uh, and we'll click continue. So I'm just going to skip a lot of this in here because it's not that important. Um, you know, I just want to show you what the different formats are. Uh, we have whole videos and blog posts on setting these up. But um, what we're looking at, uh, you know, I do like to point out you cannot remove video partners on the display network anymore, right? Um, you can choose your location still, languages, um, you know, I like to do expanded inventory. Uh, you can exclude, and check this out, if you exclude embedded YouTube videos, it prevents your ad from showing on YouTube videos in embedded on websites out of youtube.com. So you're not gonna have in-stream ads showing on the display network unless they just have a spot for a, um, for a video ad, but it's not gonna put an in-stream ad in front of somebody else's embedded video. It's a good idea to exclude those. Uh, and I do like to, um, you know, I don't usually use site link extensions. There's some additional settings in here. I do like to exclude TVs, right? Um, those are just some basic settings you should probably toss in there. Um, and yeah, then we're, we're kind of good to go there. Um, we set this thing up exactly the same as the other ones. You just click new video ad. There's some advanced settings in here, you know, placements, all that kind of stuff, all that good stuff. So we'll go new video ad, and I'm just gonna choose, here's a video ad I have right here 
for uh, Video Ad Vault, uh, which you haven't checked that out yet, definitely do that. So I'll just paste this here. And here is the only difference right here. So you can see what everything's gonna look like right here. So there's a few extra things you have to fill out. Now, first things first, I do need to point out that previously, with an in-stream ad, you did not need a custom thumbnail, right? Um, we have custom thumbnails for our content videos, but we never used um, we never used custom thumbnails for our in-stream ads because nobody ever saw them. However, with these video uh, or YouTube for action campaigns, sorry, um, that changes. You need a compelling thumbnail, and you can see. Um, I believe that was do, 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 maybe it was like this this list or th this video right here that I chose, I'm not 100% sure. But you click the edit video in YouTube and you can see right here, thumbnail. You can choose one, but these are pretty boring and they, they have like terrible faces. Make a custom thumbnail, upload a custom thumbnail. Now you can do that in TubeSift if you'd like. So we have, um, you know, TubeSift over here and you can come over here and you can come into the banner studio and you can launch the banner design studio and you can very easily choose a uh, video thumbnail. We have the templates in here. Boom. Create your own thumbnail and I'll show you why that's so important in about two seconds here. But I just want to point that out because if you look over here on YouTube, on mobile, this is going to show up as the, the thumbnail, right? That's the thumbnail. It's terrible. We don't want that. We want it to have some text on it and things like that. And best practice for that is going to be like what we've been doing is right here. As you can see here, and I can just zoom in real quick for you, like some of our thumbnails, like how to be a better marketer, right? It's just got things like four tips to run profitable YouTube ad campaigns. We put the headline, the hook, something like that on here, like the new way to set up responsive YouTube ads, things like that. Um, you want these compelling thumbnails that kind of pop, have some bright colors and, you know, make a difference there, right? So just, just a heads up there. Oops, there we go. Let me zoom back out to 100. There we go. So, so just keep that in mind. You're going to want a custom thumbnail because uh, even on the Google Display Network, you can see this is going to be that thumbnail. And if you don't have something compelling, people are going to be like, ah, what's wrong with this guy's face, right? Um, then we put our landing page. This might just be like tubesift.com. Right, boom, we're good to go there. Um, you can put the display URL here, whatever. This is the final URL might be like, you know, whatever it is, but um, that's how that's gonna work. Uh, call to action. Now, you can see they have some pre-populated ones in here. I might just choose like, you know, sign up or something like that because we're going for the sign up here. And you can kind of flip through and see what this is gonna look like on these different types of ads. Now, the headline, this is something that we previously had. Um, and that's, that's gonna be like on desktop, you can see, the headline's gonna go right in here. So let's, let's just type this in and you can see, um, you can see like, uh, let's see. Yep. Um, there we go, something like that. It might be like laser targeting, right? You're gonna you need to use strong calls to action here. That's probably not the best one for this, but you get the point. Uh, and the long headline, this is going to be um, 90 characters as you can see and it's going to be important for your um, not for your in-stream ads on your desktop but for your display ad, or sorry your um, essentially the uh, the video discovery ads is what they used to be so I might just say something along the lines of you know tube sift helps you target your ideal audience on YouTube with a few clicks, right? And then our description, this is 70 characters. It, it takes this from, um, you know, it, it takes this from uh, from your website, whatever you put in here, it gives you some options here, but we'll just leave that precision targeting for YouTube ads made easy, right? Boom. So we're gonna do exactly that. Now the companion banner, this is for in-stream ads on the computer only. Uh, and you can see what it's gonna show up like right over here. They say, you know, create, or, you know, auto generates recommended. Don't auto generate. Uh, upload an image. I'm going to select an uploaded image and I could just choose something like whatever. Tube sift. Boom. There we go. And you can see what that's going to look like. Now, the in-stream ads are going to look the same. So, we, you know, we filled all this out. It's just really important to have these, these headlines and really your custom thumbnail dialed in, right? So then you can flip through this and you can see what everything's going to look like on YouTube. Uh, it doesn't change on desktop. It's literally an in-stream ad that you're used to. Mobile is where it gets a little different. So you can see here is a, uh, an in-stream ad 
on YouTube mobile, right? Here is an inst or a video discovery ad on YouTube mobile. And you can see why it's so important to have all of your, your uh, copy dialed in, as well as a custom thumbnail. Again, that's not a good custom thumbnail, but if you put a, a video with a custom thumbnail in there, such as this one, right? Dun, dun, dun. Let's copy that link address and let's just swap this video out. Or uh, um, let's see here, boom, we'll swap this video out right here. We'll put this one in. Uh, that should leave everything the same. There we go. Now you can see, there we go. Look, it has a much more compelling thumbnail and that is a custom thumbnail. So you definitely want to use that. Uh, in stream out on mobile, video discovery. Then you can see Google um, video partners. Again, why do you need this custom thumbnail? Extremely important because this is what it looks like. Um, you know, your video ad on the Google video partners and you can see the different calls to action things like that, right? So those are essentially the changes Google's made. They lumped all of the ads into one type of video ad. Nothing else really changed. You can still use the same targeting, things like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, essentially that is the difference. So major takeaways from this. Number one, you absolutely have to have a custom thumbnail. Use TubeSift to create it, it works great. Uh, number two, you really need to make sure your calls to action, your headline, your long headline, and your description are all dialed in so that no matter where your video ad is shown, it functions the way it's supposed to and you get the most out of your ad spend. As always, TubeSift.com is a great spot for you to go to start precision targeting your YouTube ads and put those ads in front of people at the exact moment they are searching for what you have to offer. That still has not changed with this major update. However, um, you just need to make sure you follow the steps that I was explaining in this video. Make sure you have all of those pieces in place and you will be fine with this new update. That's it for me on this one. Bye for now.